Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 21st, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Look at earthquakes, volcanic weather, and world weather. Looking at the last 48 hours, always starting out here, looking at our sun. No major solar flares detected. Still a very low number of sunspots Earth facing right now. This is a look at the last 48 hours incoming cresting imagery. This is all coming from the backside of our sun. A little plasma prominence there lifting from the surface and outgoing. We do have that sunspot region bright and fiery in front of us there. C-class solar flare, but nothing major. Having a look at multi-spectrum at the most important events and most notable here on multi-spectrum. And as well, the coronal holes, which there are now two, one in the northern hemisphere, and as well, plasma filaments. So yeah, we've got all sorts of different things going on in our sun, but not many sunspots, and luckily not any major solar flares. But we are going through some geomagnetic activity right now as we are under a G1 storm condition. Having a look at 171 angstroms here, just amazing images of our sun. I'm so happy to be able to bring this view to you and share the images brought to you by SOHO and NASA, Solar Dynamics Observatory. Much love and thank you all for watching and tuning in. And as well for subscribing to Daily Events Worldwide. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and maybe share with a friend today. Let's get to 75,000 followers. Current space weather conditions. We are under a G1. Minor geomagnetic storm impacts are expected. Solar winds are coming in at 308 kilometers per second right now. Solar X-ray flux here showing a couple minor C-class solar flares in the last 24 hours. Solar proton flux is low, geomagnetic activity, KP index hopping up to a 5 throughout the day today. Having a look here at the NOAA space prediction spiral, very large double shot CME coming out towards Earth. Earth is the green planet in this diagram. Quite a bit of space weather coming our way and going through right now. This is expected 20th into the 20, or sorry, 21st into the 22nd. So heads up, geomagnetic activity will be unstable over the next little bit. Double shot CME coming here, showing on the space prediction spiral. Another look here at our Aurora forecast for tonight and into tomorrow. Northern lights straight across Canada, 10% to 20% probability. Right down to almost the border with the United States. And then around into Russia. So minor geomagnetic activity observed, and as well, northern lights. Having a look at LASCO 2, showing the last 48 hours of energy coming from our sun. Big CME there, blast towards Mercury. And as well, a couple CMEs there shot out from the southern region. Right there. A little bit of a timestamp missing there. That bright object is Mercury. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as we're still below average, just under 200 earthquakes right now. But some interesting activity today, Central America. This was a region which I had warned that we're going to be seeing something big. Quite possibly. Still more to come. We've seen a lot of activity. 5.1 there, Costa Rica. 4.6. In Mexico, 4.9, 4.3, 
Nicaragua, and as well, 4.7 Pacific Rise, 4.5 St. George's Grenada. That is the Caribbean plate. Lots of activity throughout the day today. South America just recently reporting Argentina 4.4, 155 kilometer depth. Quiet across the United States, nothing major to report. Minor activity through the New Madrid 3.3 there reported. Across the Pacific Plate, Indonesian Plate, a lot of four pointers, 4.7s across Indonesia and Papua New Guinea. No deep earthquakes to talk about from Fiji. Notable earthquakes, though, here in Australia. Apollo Bay, Australia, reporting a 3.5 and as well a 4.8 magnitude earthquake. Pretty rare spot for earthquakes. I don't report many there. As well a 4.7 there, Western Indian Antarctic Ridge. Now, that has been a pretty busy region as of late. If you have been paying attention recently, the last seven days, we'll have a quick glance but it's not showing here because this was about a week and a half ago where we had sizable 6.4, 6.3 just south of Australia, Macquarie Island. This is a look at the last seven days for shakers around the globe. Going through a lull, but things are leading up here. So heads up, stay aware, prepared. If you live in an earthquake zone, please, earthquake prone zone, have your go bag ready. Much love and hashtag no fear here. Now let's have a look at windy.com showing all of our winds and wind gusts across the northern hemisphere forecast here for the next few days as we have tropical storm Tammy and a low pressure system affecting eastern United States and as well into Atlantic Canada this week. Also a big tightly whipped low pressure system heading into Spain. And then in the long range, pretty big systems here developing in the North Atlantic, bringing hurricane force like wind gusts up to 115 to 120 kilometers an hour. Our forecast through the North Atlantic and then eventually heading towards the United Kingdom and Ireland. So big system here, as you can see in this forecast, it's going to be intense. And then another low pressure system following in behind that. Long range showing a very big low. And this is going to bring down a lot of very cold weather and help generate our new polar vortex for 2023. This is a massive system stretching from the United Kingdom to Greenland. Outer boundary lines just missing Newfoundland, stretching straight across the North Atlantic. This is a massive system. Y'all seen the movie The Day After Tomorrow? That's some crazy stuff, man. We are here. I do believe that, that our magnetic reversal brought to you by our sun is going to have a lot to do with and play with our weather because it is all connected. Just look at this long-range forecast for the North Atlantic and the Northern Hemisphere. Three monstrous low-pressure systems there. And then looking at the temperature forecast here for the next 10 days, showing, showing some extreme cold temperatures stretching down into uh, parts of Colorado. Could see up to minus 7 in some areas. But all along the eastern seaboard of the United States, still looking at quite a tropical push. So in the long range forecast here, we're going to see an extreme weather event break out across the United States. Now let's get to weather forecast as we have that lingering low across eastern Canada, Ontario. And that's eventually going to join forces with Tammy. But look at the forecast here. Six, seven low pressure systems across the Northern Hemisphere right now, stretching from Europe to north of Hawaii. Long range forecast, definitely going to be bringing some snow across most of Western Canada and the prairies, and as well the United States. Extreme weather breaking out in the long range forecast here, 29th into the 30th with some snow on the backside of that.
huge low pressure system will be bringing some extreme weather to parts of central United States and northeastward across Ontario and snow on the backside. Tropical Storm Norma will be raking up the coast this week. Having a look at the North Pacific here, quite a few systems in the area as well, notable there. Some strange days, everybody. Much love to you all, and I appreciate you all tuning in. Having a look here across North America, you can see high-pressure ridges all across the west coast of Canada and the United States. And this will help bring down all of the very cold air. As far down as Colorado, we'll be seeing downwards of minus 7 degrees Celsius. Much love, everybody. Stay aware, prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.